How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's episode, we're gonna be getting this thing ready for an MOT and hopefully passing that MOT. So what we need to do is we're gonna be filling up the system with coolant after we have connected all the hoses and rad pack and the obviously the intercooler. Uh, and then we're gonna be completing the front end with headlights, front core support and the front bumper and the grills, connecting up the bonnet latch correctly. And then probably just the arch liners for the wheels and putting the new wheels on. As you can tell, not a very long list at all, but we do need to get cracking. We do have to make sure we do everything methodically in the right order as I put together a couple of minis and I've wasted hours just trying to work out which way the, the washer fluid bottle goes in and it's, it needs to all be done the correct way. So I'm gonna take my time, do it once correctly and hopefully we'll get this thing on the road by the end of this episode. I have rooted the entire hood latch sort of um, assembly and installed it here. Got the photo box there, made sure it all is, um, obviously I've got the, the wire there and the, well, you won't be able to see down there, but we're gonna test it live on camera now. If you remember in the convertible Copart series, I actually had to cut through the bonnet just to, sort of rectify what I did last time. So hopefully you've done it right this time, guys. So that's locked in there, as you can see. Hopefully, hopefully, look at all my crap. Oh, sounds good. We're back in, boys. So. We have successfully installed the bonnet latch assembly. So what I have to do next is actually install the arch liners, but judging on this, I'm gonna have to defrost it first. I'm gonna be replacing this Vanna solenoid. Oh, too bright, um, it's too shiny, I mean. Um, so I'm getting actually an oil light come up on the dash. So a lot of people on the Facebook page have said replace it as I've got the original Vanos solenoid in there. And I've also bought this battery. Why is nothing focusing? I think it's in my gloves as well. And the sun's actually out for a change. So I think I'm not used to this. Um, but yeah, I've got this battery bracket so I don't have to use the vice grips anymore. We've also we... got these John Cooper Works alloys lined up here. And that's just a little hint towards what we're gonna be doing aesthetically to this car. That's the hint. I am so excited to drive this, especially on these wheels. They definitely need a refurb, but they are saucy. These are my favorite standard sort of wheels that come from Mini. I do want to get a set of track wheels, but um, yeah, these are definitely my favorite wheels.
so I've just started the car and the oil light is still on I may have to hook up an OBD or get someone to clear the code as I've it's a brand new engine so I don't think this should be uh, an oil light on but we'll have to hook it up and see what we've got So from the last clip you just saw, we installed these two lovely looking Xenon or Xenon, I still don't know how to pronounce these headlights, but these are the lovely um, projector LED headlights that I bought. But I've been on the forums and the Facebook pages and you need to do a bit of coding to trick the car into thinking you've had the upgrade and paid for the upgrade. So we aren't getting power to the main uh, projector bulb we've got indicators we've got everything else but there's a sort of software inside the the headlight that we can't unfortunately use at the moment so i'm going to be putting my original headlights on which aren't in the best condition and they don't even have matching lenses on the um on the indicator bulb so they'll get us through an mot and we'll sort out the coding uh after the fact but we're just going to wrap up this front end now and uh, get it through an MOT. I've got it booked for tomorrow at 4 p.m. So hopefully in a couple of clips, you'll see the results as well. With that being said, I'm gonna be taking these out and putting the old ones back in, and we're just gonna wrap everything up now and put the, uh, the bumper on. <laughs> 